Hey everybody, it's the Heroic Legend here. I'm in dummy, dum dum dum. I have updates for you, and I'm going to get through this quickly because this should have been episode 12. This is actually episode 10 because episodes 10 and 11 are now considered lost episodes because I did not do tests. Ooh, I did not do the tests. The tests are not have been done. Not done. I did dumb. I have the dumb. I have contracted the dumb. It is a very serious disease. Because it's dumb. I said dumb. So dumb. Oh, so dumb. Anyway, to update you all, I have. I'm going to be having intro and outro music for my videos now. For at least my Dark Souls one. So, yay! You may be wondering how I got this way. So, I will go tell you that at some point. Basically, I went through the. I completed the Forest of Giants. I went to go bonfire the Lost Bastille and to cool and to go basically here it's not very long to get here I'm sure you can find another more competent person who did this already <laughs> I am so sorry I am the dumb Ugh. but basically I want as I kept trying to tell you guys in the last two episodes I a, fa a favorite band on mine, a YouTube band, named Tanuki Suit, gave me permission to use their songs in my videos. So I'm going to be leaving a link for their channel in the description, and I'm going to be leaving a link for the song I use in the intro and outro of my song of my videos. At least my Dark Souls 2 videos. I'm still debating on the heroic randoms and maybe another heroic segment that's going to be coming out. However, with this episode, we are going to try to do shit. And me not be dumb. But that's going to be risky, because I am the dumb. In fact, I got something last episode. We're gonna go freaking use that. Oh my god, I am just so upset with myself. I had everything set up perfectly. Everything. My laptop's not on the same table, so it's not catching back that horrible hissing noise. I have my cell phone out, which is being on stopwatch, so I don't have to look at the recording and break my neck every time I want to make sure I'm not overdoing it. Just so much, so much wrong. So much wrong with me. This is the worst I've been, to be there honest. Are the yes. Six souls. Okay. Larger. I don't care. Oh, wait, I don't need to talk to you for this. As I mentioned, you can do the burning. I'm going to be burning dust. Don't do this at home, kids, because I don't know how dust reacts to being burned. <sighs> Just so dumb. I I'm gonna. I just feel so bad about like doing that. Cause I, I could have. I could have checked. I could have did a test. I yelled at myself. I recorded in the test for this, yelling me yelling at myself, just saying you are the dumb. And I accepted it. I am the dumb. Anyway, we're going to be trying to get through this episode. I'm going to share with you a theory on the boss. On one of the bosses I'm going to be trying to fight. The boss is called the Old Dragon Slayer. I will probably try to put a picture of him somewhere in this. Uh, but basically, if you've seen Dark... Okay, first of all, spoiler warning. If you have not played Dark Souls 1 and still wish to, if, you have, if you're watching a Let's Play of Dark Souls 1 that has not been finished yet, like mine, because I am the dumb. And again, it's on pause because of Dark Souls 2 stuff and oh, so much cool recording stuff. Yay! Basically... If you're if if you have not seen Dark Souls One, want to. If you have not played Dark Souls One, want to. Stop listening now. Skip ahead in the video a bit. I'm gonna leave you a link. I have not gotten that good in editing yet. But do that stuff, and I will now explain it. You have been warned. You have been warned again. You have been warned three times. I've warned you three times. In fact, I wasted a minute warning you, probably. But here it is. Theory time. The boss in this area is called the Old Dragon Slayer. The Old Dragon Slayer is Orenstein. Now, some of you might be questioning, how can that be true? When everyone knows that you fight and beat Orenstein in Dark Souls 1. Here's the thing. You have to be Orenstein and Smo to get to Guinevere. Guinevere herself is an illusion. She's not real. So, again, if you're playing and you've beaten the, that area and you're like, what? Go check it out for yourself. But Guinevere is an illusion created by Gwendolyn, her brother. Guinevere fled when the Age of Fire looked like it was going to fade, going to be burnt out. Not going to... Like, all the power she had 
all the things that they, that her and her father were working towards were probably going to be for a time. In the end, what happened was she more than likely fled and took, or rather, Ornstein, following the orders of Gwen, went to go defend her. Since Artorius, Go, and I forgot the last one's name, were busy trying to fight off the Abyss. Smo is a strange case indeed, and I can't quite discuss much about him yet. But basically, you don't know that they're illusions because you have to fight them before you can even see Guinevere and join her covenant. But when you attack her and you discover that she's fake, the sun is fake, the darkness is here, who's to say, wow, wow, someone's an asshole outside, sorry. But who's to say that that's really real? Who's to say that Ornstein and Swole were even there? How do you know what you were fighting wasn't just another illusion? Because remember, the Silver Knights are an illusion. The Sentinels are an illusion. Everything, almost everything in that area is and will be an illusion and will go away as soon as you basically ruin the facade. I hope I said that right. I have an issue with saying things right. So, I'll leave it up to you guys. Is the old Dragon Slayer Ornstein? Do you think this is what happened to him? Or is this someone who studied with Ornstein? Is this perhaps a man who is his, his successor? Maybe the old Dragon Slayer really did leave, li leave, live this long. Maybe he was like us and cursed. And again, the fates befell him in the wrong way and he's forever... I hate this guy. Okay, please sign up. Oh, ah, uh, I got excited. I got happy for no reason. Yo, really? As soon as I kill him, you guys want to? All right, we can play this dance. Play this dance. But that's that's my theory, my brother's theory as well. We both came up with it. It's fairly sound to me, at least. You know, and it makes sense. But. That's that's pretty much my belief, you know. Maybe there'll be some DLC that comes out that really does explain everything that happens. These guys have a fucking long follow distance. I am not surviving this fight. There's no sign, so. Whoa! I am going to be like a man in a very expensive suit. This blue suit is probably very expensive. I'm going to flee. The difficulty with fighting gigant giant enemies is just... Well, it should be pretty obvious, actually. <sighs> this next area is also a bitch. Yeah, I'm really sorry you guys didn't get to see me go through this and try to fight the boss. With help. Granted, I had help, but it wasn't the best help. You stupid a-holes reset! Oh. So much, fuck you. That's weird. Whoa, I almost died there. Alright, let's fight. Me and you. Me and you, me and you. Die! Die! Okay. Okay, we're getting through this. And if anything, I'll just have help for the boss. Here's the thing, some bosses you really do need help with, and I already explained in the video how getting help and using the games, in-game stuff to help you win, and you know, beat the game, and who knows, maybe you'll make a lifelong friend. Maybe. Probably not. I might just take pot shots at you. Cause you're another asshole, you have a big sword too. Fun fact, uh, if you zoom out while you're using a bow, you will still be aiming the same area. But if you move a little, eh, your fault. And this is why I will tell you, in Dark Souls 1 and 2, always get a bow. Just stuff like this happens. See? Smack him in the dick. Good night. You are the worst partners ever. And... Horizontal. 
I'm actually getting better at this. Hey, guys, Heroic Glitch is getting better at video games. Who knew? I keep taking cheap shots at myself. That's really gonna fuck myself over later. It's gonna be like, I'm gonna rewatch my old stuff to make sure it recorded properly. Who knew? Oh, I hurt my feelings. All right. We're gonna wait for a little bit of help, and then maybe try to fight the boss. Or maybe I'll end the episode, because it's been ten minutes. Yeah, that's sort of lost recordings, too. I'm gonna have to name them lost episodes, too. Okay, horizontal. Perks to fighting giants. They take both. Ooh, new weapon, yay! Sorry. I never had this weapon. I can't wield this weapon. Oh, but it's a cool weapon. Swing, swing. Has some pretty. I need to see the stats on this. BE 2512. Okay, so I have the proper. That's one of the swords I want to use, though. And. It doesn't have as much durability. That's the only bad part about the old weaponry. It's just not that good. Meh, whatever. Okay, let's find me my weapons. My Bastardo sword. Which I have three of. I should have my held sword some there it is. I got almost got scared. Alright. If any luck, I will end this episode. Sorry guys, it's gonna be kinda of short today. Uh gonna look for help. Maybe I might get invaded and you know, we fuck up some bitches. Or I fuck up some bitches. Well, we in the sense of me, you guys. You know. For now, I'm going to take a dramatic pose as I do my outro-ish. And then have the outro music stuff. Because you're going to hear that music in this episode. I, the one that I mentioned earlier. You know, I don't know why I'm telling you this because you've already heard it. Awkward! Yay! Anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's truly a blessing me that I get to do stuff like this and... Who knows, maybe in time I'll get more popular and I'll get to do this more for you guys and it can be my job. <laughs> it won't be my job, honestly, it'd be my career. I, I like making people laugh and if I can make you guys laugh, if I took some time out of your day to make you smile, then I'm glad. And I'm glad you listened to me and thank you for doing so. And again, thanks for watching. Um, I guess I, my friend keep mentioning that I should keep adver I should start advertising myself a bit. I guess if you want to subscribe for more content, if you liked the episode, go ahead and leave a like. Leave a comment if I'm very bad and you want to punish me for it. Be gentle. I'm a soft soul. Get it? Get it? <laughs> Sorry. See you later, guys. I will